I struggled with this one because risk is just a very, very difficult concept to convey, especially in a positive way. Mm. It, mm. You know, when we think of a risk, we think of being reckless. Um, and a storytelling image of recklessness would show something like, you know, a car crash <laughs> or someone <laughs> lying in a heap at the bottom of a cliff or something like that, right? Uh, and as the mother of, um, you know, a teenager and two young adults, uh, these kinds of <laughs> horror scenes are in my mind all too often. I really right on the don't surface. illustrating my worst fears. <laughs> so, There's the risk of falling in love, the risk right. of speaking up, the risk of sharing a vulnerability, the risk of showing your art, right? Right, right. So I thought, how do I show a positive risk where somebody knows that that they that they don't know what the outcome is going to be yet they're feeling a yes inside yes to go ahead not recklessly but with faith yes with intuition this is the the feminine way of this deck is to put yourself out there um and uh i love uh i think it was ram das who said the definition of faith is going to the edge of all that you know and taking one more step oh i love that i thought i was thinking about this and thinking of this woman who is she's 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 looking at at her goal but she's looking up and she's looking hopeful and she has her hands crossed over her heart like ah oh, i Oh, I'm just, I'm going to do this. Mm. I just, I'm, I, I got to do this. You know, when you feel a calling. So this kind of risk is a response to your innermost calling. And it took a while for me to figure out what else can I put in there besides this body position and this expression of innocent, but not naive hope. Mm, yes. Uh, and somehow the prism with the eye at the apex just kind of came to me as an explosion of positive energy coming from the center of her intention. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, the red and the yellow background, I, I made it as crude as possible. I really just mashed my brush around mm -hmm. in one layer and then put a transparent layer on top of that, which is a gradient. Um, and I just wanted it to be somewhat eruptive kind of like a volcano erupting somewhat fiery um somewhat charged and flared as if as if you know a, a lightning strike or something had taken place and uh the white halo i think was very important mm. around her because that to me is pure energy and i've used white halos a lot in my earlier work uh, not so much recently, but I was very happy that I uh, remembered to give it a try here. And, you know, the way I created this painting in and of itself was a risk. Mm. I just wasn't sure I was going to be able to pull it off. So I thought, well, let me try to put that feeling into this painting, my own uncertainty. Were there, Yael, did you do any other versions of this image before this final image came? I can't remember. I don't think so. So, wow. So out of I that, other sketches with uh -huh. other concepts, other pencil sketches. Uh -huh. but I don't think I did any other image. No, this one, in, ironically, in the end, it tumbled out so easily. Um, wow. And I felt like I was out on a limb the whole time. I also tried to um, make the features of all these figures different. So there were very few profiles in the deck. Mm -hmm. I wanted another profile. Um, and there were none that had hair like this, uh -huh. where hair is loose, but it kind of comes together by itself at the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, almost like, you know, the convergence of, um, like, convergence of uh, rivers coming together or something, mm. something organic. Wow. So that's risk. <laughs> and it turned out to be one of my favorites. <laughs> 